for the sign of Aries, hello and welcome to my channel. Just keep in mind the bottom cards are paired with the top cards and I'll be going through the past, the present, the challenge, and outcome. So Aries, in the recent past, we have the Six of Cups. So if, you're, if you were currently, at that time, in a re romantic relationship, uh, this card it can indicate that a relationship was about to be refocused towards the future or it needed to be refocused. You also needed to talk about your dreams and your goals. You also needed to try new things. It would have been important at that time not to stay stuck in the past. On occasions, this card can signify the reappearance of an old lover in your life. Think long and hard before you restart an old romance because we know exes are exes for a reason. The Six of Cups is paired with the Two of Wands. Now, if you were in a relationship at that time, it probably was about to get more equal. You needed to pay attention to your ideals about equality and balance and share them. If you were looking for a relationship or love at that time, someone who could have been very good for you uh, was more than likely already a part of your life. So it was important that you did not judge a book by its cover. If someone was interested in you, you should have gave them a chance or that's what you did uh, because the relationship could have been just what you were looking for. And that's the two of wands and the recent past. That's what that was, the recent past. So let's move on to the present. We have the three of cups. Now this card can mean a reunion with a lost love, a reunion with the past, flame, long lost love, Someone, someone from the past. Uh, it does not always indicate that. You uh, need to look at the full reading to determine uh, if that's the case. Uh, if you are single, the most likely interpretation is that you will meet a likely love soon. Someone who really fits the bill of the person that you've been looking for and that this person will be a new love, not someone you used to be with. And that's if you're single. Now, if you're, um, <clears throat> if you're, if you're looking and you, and you are single, <clears throat> I guess it could go either way. Uh, a reunion of a law of a lost love could return. So yeah, you could be single or with someone and they'll still return. Okay, so that's the Three of Cups and it's paired with the Seven of Cups. Now with Seven of Cups, you may have several romantic choices at hand. So be clear and specific about what you want in a relationship. Evaluate your choices. Be honest and as clear as you can be with all people involved, including yourself. Then move ahead. Beware of falling in love in too much of a speedy rush. Uh, keep in mind that only really happens at the beginning of a relationship. Uh, in, re in no relationship does that rush ever last. Good relationships, even soulmate relationships, they'll settle into a less rush-based comfort zone at some point. Keep in mind that, that 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 does not mean that you have to stay in a rut. That does not mean that you have to stay in a rut. Okay, and with these two cards paired together, the Three of Cups, uh, it's about a reunion with the long lost love. So they could return if you're single and they could return if you're with someone. And if you're single, uh, it, it's a good time that you'll most likely meet someone who really fits the bill, the type of person you've been looking for. And being that it's paired with the Seven of Cups, uh, 
you'll have several romantic choices at hand. So be specific and clear about what you really want. Because you'll be able to pick and choose at this time. And that's the present. Now let's move on to the challenge. We have the King of Wands. Now the King is a, it's a very good card in the tarot. The King of Wands, it's an excellent card. Uh, it signals or it signifies that someone you care about also has protective and caring feelings about you. And that they're willing to work hard on the relationship if that's what it takes to make it work. You may be more than usually focused on your work or career at this time. Make time for romance, even if you are single, or you'll end up with work being the only thing in your life. That's with the King of Wands. And it's paired with the Emperor. Uh, with the Emperor, you may find yourself falling for someone who's older than you at this time. Uh, keep in mind, this person is likely to be attracted to order, logic, and organization. The attraction may not be mutual from the very start, but if you're patient and persistent, it's more than likely to grow. Just remember, fireworks at the beginning are all well and good, but ask yourself how long fireworks last. A slow burning connection is likely to far outlast the fireworks. With these two cards paired together, the King of Wands, it signifies someone who has protective and loving and caring feelings about you. Okay, so this could be someone that you know or someone that's coming towards you. This person is also willing to work hard to make the relationship what it should be. They're willing to take the necessary steps, okay? And it's paired with the emperor. Uh, they're probably old, much someone who's much older than you because that's what the emperor is. And they're the type of person that's very organized, logic, and they like, um, they're attracted to order. So they go by the book. Okay, so you may not find them attractive at first. You may not have that chemistry at first, but be patient because it's gonna come. It's gonna grow and turn into something uh, very positive, but it's gonna be a slow burning connection. And that's what those two cards pair together. Wow, that sounds interesting. And uh, that's the challenge. And let's move on to the outcome. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Now with regards to love, this card it can point to responsibility and duty that is a part of any relationship. Keep in mind, love is not all wine and roses. True love, is, excuse me, true love is a willingness to work together to get through any rough spots and to work on the relationship. If you are looking for a relationship at this time, it's a clear signal that you need to vary your routine and try new things if you want to meet someone. Your usual search, it leaves little to be desired. That, uh, that's the Knight of Pentacles and it's paired with the Ace of Swords. Now the Ace of Swords can mean that you're ready to start something new and if you're currently in a committed relationship, it can indicate that there's something about the relationship that you will choose to put a stop to. Don't hesitate to speak your mind. If something in the relationship is hurtful or bad for you and you lose your partner because you said so, you haven't really lost. You're being guided toward a relationship that is better for you. So tell the truth at this time. And with these two cards paired together, the Knight of Pentacles, it points to responsibility that's a part of any relationship. Uh, we have to work together to get through the rough spots at this time. It's paired with the Ace of Swords. 
Uh, you're ready to start something new. You're probably thinking about uh, putting a stop to something that's going on in the relationship. Not necessarily the relationship, but um, you, you, with the uh, Knight of Pentacles, you're willing to work on it to get through those rough spots. But something has to come to a stop uh, in the relationship. Uh, so don't hesitate to speak your mind and uh, let your partner know what's going on. And that's the outcome. So Aries, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe. <coughs> Excuse me, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.